Russian Foreign Minister Sergey Lavrov has kicked off a tour of African countries. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi and the visiting foreign minister held talks in Cairo on Sunday. They discussed bilateral relations and regional and global issues of mutual concern. Lavrov also reassured Egyptian leaders that their orders for Russian grain would be met. Adil El Maruki has more in Cairo. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov's first African tour since the crisis with Ukraine began. Egypt has refused Western sanctions on Russia and at the same time supported the withdrawal of Russian troops from Ukraine. Egypt has taken a uh, no biased position in, uh, in its stance uh, of the war in Ukraine, but uh, this hasn't affected positively or negatively uh, the relations with Egypt especially that Russia is facing a lot of sanctions, world sanctions, with Egypt's important role where Russia finds a market to Africa or a gate to the markets of Africa from Egypt. Economic ties between Egypt and Russia have significantly grown since the election of President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi in 2014. During that period, Moscow built an international zone near the Suez Canal that aims to attract 7 billion US dollars worth of investments and the trade balance has grown by more than 20%. Russia sees Egypt as an important decision maker in the Middle East, and Egypt sees Russia as a strategic ally. Amid the Egyptian awakening to diversify its arms resources, Russia became the most entrusted source of arms. Defense cooperation between the two countries has seen billions of dollars in arms agreements develop Egypt's air defense. It has also increased cooperation in military training. Lavrov comes to Cairo to continue strengthening ties, which in 2018 were developed into strategic partnership. His visit also comes after two landmark events, the grain agreement in Turkey and setting the concrete foundation for Egypt's first nuclear power reactor in Daba, built with Russian technology. From Cairo, he will travel to Uganda and Ethiopia, two countries whose relations with the West have also come under strain. Adel Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.